Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, Heidi Slemmer for 4 Extra. And today we're actually going to be talking about the U.S. presidential election, how I feel about both candidates, who is the right, who is the wrong. You know, all that details will be presented in this video, guys, as the presidential election is coming up in a few weeks' time. The presidential election will, of course, take place on November 5th, 2024. So let's start with Kamala Harris. See, the thing with Kamala Harris is that what's going for her is that she's a female. That, that, that's the one and most important thing is that she's a female. And I think this itself is going to attract a lot of females to vote for her. And in fact, I was actually looking at some, doing some research before this video. I was actually looking at the polls. And, and as of right now, more females are leaning towards her voting for Kamala Harris over Donald Trump. And I think that's key. And I think it could be huge because America, we haven't had a female president yet. And she could potentially be the first one in history to make that achievement and it would be some achievement indeed because the last person to the last person that failed was Hillary Clinton obviously in 2016. So I think that's also very key. The issue I have with Kamala Harris though is that I don't think she's going to bring anything new to the table. I think she, a lot of her views um, is going to be very much like Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden, uh, his pr uh, policy, his presidency, uh, it will be a continuation of his trajectory. Now, I actually did see an article online, and I'll put a link in the description below, that they actually do have some view different or view different points, I believe, in abortion, Israel, Gaza, everything like that. I believe, the mo for the most part, though, most of the views are relatively the same, I believe. So I don't know how much of a difference that will make. Now, the question for me is that, the, the, because that's going for her side, right? But the issue is, a lot of people didn't, I don't think a lot of people really like Joe Biden's presidency. And I think, if Joe Biden, because let's be real, Kamala Harris will pretty much continue Joe Biden. It's just that he won't be there. It will be under her control. But it would almost essentially be the same thing, I would assume. Right? And also, remember, guys, generally in U.S. history, it's usually been an uh, alternate cycle. Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, you know, that kind of thing. Whereas for Donald Trump, what he brings to the table is that he's a very charismatic guy. He knows how to speak. Maybe too well. See, the thing with Donald Trump is that I think it's a misconception is that people think that he's a stupid guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about and all this stuff because he says so much rubbish. No, he actually knows what he's talking about. He's a smart guy. He just presents himself in a way that looks stupid, but the reality is he's a smart guy. He knows how to manipulate people. He knows how to trick people. He knows how to get a reaction out of people. He knows how to just trigger and stun people and make them frustrated, make them angry, make them have emotions, you know? And I think that's a way to get the people to focus on his words. Because when you look at what he's done as president, he's done a lot of action. He's done a lot of policies. He's done a lot of procedures. And fun fact for you guys, of the last couple of U.S. presidents, he has not started a war. He has not started a war. And I think it's a commendable achievement, given the fact that the United States have been in wars pretty much all, almost every other presidency. You know, we've had the Israel-Palestine war this um, term under Joe Biden. Obviously, we've had the Russia-Ukraine war. You know, And there's probably some other wars that are notable that aren't coming to mind. So my thing is that for Donald Trump, he has that going for him. But the issue with Donald Trump is that he's such a polarizing figure because he has so much, um, so much trouble, uh, so much um, liability, uh, so much charges against him that it's really hard for people to understand. Because the thing with the presidency is, it's not just about what you do; it's also about how you speak, how you communicate with people. So this is where it's difficult because you have one person that's pretty much continuing a uh, pr presidency set by another president. I think you have another person that is very controversial with the words he speaks and the action he does as president. So that's what the dilemma is here. And I think it's, it's going to make a very interesting debate. And that's what makes this debate so hard to call because I really do think it's 50-50. I really do believe that both these candidates have the possibility of winning. And I think it's going to be a close one. I don't think it'll be a landslide. Because let's be real, guys. The reason why Trump lost the last re election was because of the COVID stuff. Because he said a lot of stupid stuff about COVID-19. He said all this hoax stuff. And he said it was fake and all that. Had he not said that, I strongly believe he would have been reelected. I would have a very different convo right now. But obviously, you know, that's the history. You can't change it. And so what I'm thinking right here is that if I had to give a prediction, ugh, it's tough, man. It's really tough. I might give Trump the slight edge, but Kamala Harris has a strong case too as well. Because just because people don't like Trump, and I think that's also another thing, people are just so against Trump that that might just sway into Kamala Harris's favor. Not because people are voting for her, but more so people are voting against Trump because they just don't like Trump. 
So whatever the case may be, it should be a great election. Obviously, election will take place November 5th, and I'll definitely vote that day. If you if you are a U.S. citizen that's above 18, please go ahead and vote on that day. It means a lot. Even if you don't like the candidates, voting is such a huge thing because it only happens every few years. So take advantage of it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. And um, whether you agree with my points I made in this video, guys, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. So best of luck to both these candidates and may the best candidates win.